Hey everyone, this is Andres Soklal of Extra Time TV and we are here with former Soko Warrior. Should we use Soko Warrior? No, no he's, uh, he's before that. Legend, Anthony Roger. Anthony Roger, how are you today? I'm um, very well, very well. Very well to be in here. Alright, so listen, you know, we heard about your project that you're working on with Faisabad. Yeah. We want to hear about this thing. Yes, it's, it's, it, it, it's a, quite a unique project. I mean, a lot of people ask me, you know, why, why Faisabad? Mm -hmm. um, with my experience and my qualifications as well, you know, I have, may have the opportunity to be at, at many other schools and, and, and prestige schools at, at that from a perspective of a football program. Yeah. But I think uh, I went to school here and I had a couple of conversations with the principals, the principal here, and the opportunity for me to do what I need to do because they're giving me full reign of running the football program. Um, it is one of the best opportunities for me to do what I wanted, always wanted to do, which was, which is to develop football. Yeah. And now I have it with the backing of a school. Um, it's, it's not a professional team. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nowhere close to being a professional team, but it will be, I promise you, and I promise the parents out there, they will be professional students, professional people, for sure. Yeah, and you know, you've raised a very interesting point. They are professional teams, and then they're high school teams, and a lot of people in the past have made the error of thinking they're the same thing in terms of balancing the academics yeah. and these guys have academic responsibilities and sports. Yeah. Um, how was that adjustment for you though? Um, it, it's, it's quite challenging because it, it, it's, it's at the prestige schools I am and I'm talking about people I'm, I've spoken to compared to the not so prestige school it's mm. not a majority focus it's not a major focus. Mm. Um, and that's, that's one of my biggest challenges because for me, if you are not focused in school, I, I don't want you being part of the program. Yep. Um, it's very important for me that when I address my team, my team has been addressed as student athletes mm -hmm. and, and, and very much emphasized on student. Yep. If, if you, if one of the things with recruitment at the school is, first of all, you have to be interested in coming to the school, mm -hmm. coming to the school for academia. Yes. Uh, making sure you understand what is needed to be part of a, of, a, of a football program and then we start talking about football. Mm -hmm. um, very importantly, um, a lot of schools lose their focus because of the sport, lose their focus on the academia. Yeah. We, are, we, are, we are losing a lot of our young people because they're going through a whole three-year program mm -hmm. and because the focus is not on academia, mm -hmm. When they when they become an adult, they they're lost in the world out there, yeah. and, and and that's a real headache. Um, it's sometimes a headache for us, the people of Trinidad and Tobago. So we have to do a lot more work on development of students, yeah. developing their mental, physical, and psychological, mm -hmm. getting them to understand that this is a school program, this is not a football program, yeah. um, and we have to stand strong by it. We even sometimes some of the schools bend the rules a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I promise you at about Secondary, that's not happening. Mm -hmm. Even if, I hope it hasn't happened in the past, yeah. but I'm telling you now, under my reign, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the players will have a, a clear uh, understanding of what Anthony Roger is all about and, and what is my identity for this team. Mm -hmm. and, and, and those who are willing to work as hard to make it happen, it, it will happen, yeah. for sure. You know, a lot of people don't know this, you know, especially the younger audiences. There's YouTube now, so there's no excuse. But you know, Anthony Roger played in Europe. You know, he played for Reading. Uh, what are some of the other clubs? Well, here we go. Um, mm -hmm. we, we're talking about Bristol City. We're mm -hmm. talking about uh, Hibernian. We're talking about Wraith Rovers. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Nanjing Yoyo in China. Yeah. We're talking about Port Vale. Mm -hmm. We're talking about uh, Trintoc, mm -hmm. Petra Trin. We're talking about um, uh, Bristol City. Yeah. Ten name of you. Mm -hmm. And listen, this is why it's, it's very essential that... Uh, for your project, the Anthony Roger project, people know that you know you have been around, you've played yeah. at the highest leagues. Yeah. It's not just some guy. Because one of the, the obstacles I've seen is that people, they they have the theory and they have these projects and things, but you know the pedigree of being an international player, also a former national captain. Right. Um, you know, I've spoken to your peers and they speak very highly of you. Right. Um, to have someone like yourself behind a project like this is is, is pretty much an asset. Yeah. Um, so the Anthony Roger plan, based on your experiences and so on. Is it a two-year plan, a three-year plan? We, we're looking at a two-year plan, at, at, mm. as long as the principal allows me to go as far as I want to go. <laughs> Keep him. Um, the thing is, is it, 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 first of all, I, you know, it, a lot of coaches need to understand. I mean, mm. you, you cannot coach what you, you are not. Mm -hmm. And I am not coaching what I am not. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, my, my, I have always been an athlete 
of morals, of standards, mm -hmm. of, of, of the right attitude, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, commitment, you know, uh, uh, being driven by wanting to be the best I can be, mm -hmm. not necessarily to be the next Ronaldo or the next mm -hmm. Messi. And, and I, am, I am channeling all those attitudes mm -hmm. in me, mm -hmm. in, in my players. Mm -hmm. the, the thing is, I am very humble mm -hmm. by the grace of God because mm -hmm. I'm a born again Christian. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and my wife, when I'm when I'm straying a little bit, she makes sure I'm, I'm stay where I'm okay. supposed to the stay. The real boss. Is... Bless you, Trisha. Oh, yeah. Bless you. Um, <laughs> the thing is, it's it's hmm. it's getting these students. It's not easy. Um, but the, the plan is a two-year plan. The plan it's starting with um, the program. I've, uh, the principal has allowed me to control. Hmm. The, the transfers, which every student that comes into the school from now on is a student has to be here for two years. Yeah. Uh, they're not good. I'm not taking anyone who's coming in for one year. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking anyone in for, for as we said before, mm -hmm. for just football, for the football program. So it means that you have to tell me what are you coming into school to achieve. Mm -hmm. we, we are hopefully getting um, a preseason tour to Tobago. Mm -hmm. um, and, and one of the first things they don't know mm -hmm. Is they have to do a a um, what do you call it a, a, about why do you want to come okay, okay. why do you want to come to Faisal World Secondary yeah, okay. and and that it, that in itself will allow me and I will read every word mm -hmm. and they will have to do it if you don't do it you don't train yeah it, it'll be one of them so I I need to find out what is in your heart mm -hmm. about this program what do you like about this program why are you here a holistic assessment yeah what, you know so and 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 the other part is is driven to bring something back to Pfizer. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I went to school here and, and there was some success, but it was sporadic success. Mm -hmm. There was success one year and then for a couple of years there wasn't any and then for the next couple of years. I believe that our, our goal is to stay into the premiership this mm -hmm. year. And, and next year is when we could be challenging for something um, yeah. because we've, we've had a whole full season to, to prepare. Um, and one of the things for me is, is really getting these athletes on a perspective, my student athletes, on their mind of developing themselves, yeah. eating habits, uh, uh, the way they speak, mm -hmm. the way they carry about themselves. Yeah, I am not tolerating any insubordination with any teacher. I don't care how wrong, which sometimes the teachers are wrong. Which is a very real obstacle you know, with kids these days. I'm not tolerating it. Mm -hmm. Swallow it. Mm -hmm. Take it because respect that person is, is here to teach me mm -hmm. and deal with it in a respective manner in which it could be dealt with. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a, 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 a there's, it's not a low tolerance, but a no tolerance with things like that. Mm -hmm. They have to control their emotions because my intent is to take this program and develop. I, 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 and I'm not afraid or ashamed. I'm not selling dreams here. Mm. The players I played with are now managers of professional clubs. Yes. Uh, and, and, and I am now going to take this opportunity. For, and, and some of them are also part of university programs in the U.S. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this opportunity. If the talent is here, mm -hmm. I am telling you, I will get them out there. Yes. I will get them an opportunity to improve themselves. Mm -hmm. Or even though if it doesn't work through a school program, they will have a taste of it and see what professionalism is truly about. Mm -hmm. And I think that will, will raise the bar of what, what can be done for a student athlete in this country. And, and hopefully, which is the pinnacle of what I do, is to develop and encourage the development of football in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. What was immediately noticeable when we came in and we were setting up was, was the uh, the mannerisms of the players. Right. They were, you no, know, I mean it sounds terrible, but you know, kids, you know, generally all generations t generally rebellious. Yeah. You know, athletes have a bad stereotype yeah. attached to them, but they were they were very well mannered. They were very articulate. Right. They greeted us with, you know, a handshake. Yeah, and it was you, you already you I'm already seeing the influence in the little areas, yeah. and I think. Um, these are the intangibles that people maybe are not seeing yeah. with your project. Um, you're, you're not just focusing on results, which I believe is yeah. one of the main, to the detriment of those kids, because as you said before, they train, yeah. they use them for a couple of years, and then they are lost. Exactly. Um, so exactly. essentially the Anthony Roger way of doing things is you're not just building a football player, building but a people. student athlete yeah. and a good person. Good. And I think that's the thing. I think this is, this is important. Um, I said to the players, I, and, and I repeatedly say it all the time, mm. what do you want of this? One. Secondly, mm. why is footballers being treated the way they are treated in Trinidad and Tobago? Mm -hmm. And how do we change the first two? Yeah. And, and we could only change it by what we do mm -hmm. and daily 
continually, repetitiously doing the same thing over and over. Meaning, when we come on mornings, the first thing you do mm. to each other and to the coaching staff is shake their hands and yeah. say good morning or good day to you or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of respect we don't tolerate and it's not a matter of tolerance, it's about raising discipline within the athletes. Yeah. Um, whatever the coaches say to do, you do it. Yeah. And, and my coaches are uh, Mr. Chris Bailey, Addison Smart, mm -hmm. Stacey Alfonso, mm -hmm. Akeem John, Wayne Fleury. Um, they have to make sure they are on their ball, on the ball every single time. Yeah. There is no lapse of concentration for my coaches. Mm -hmm. I don't tolerate it. I mean, at all. Yeah. Um, and they understand me mm -hmm. and they understand how important this program is to help these, these young men mm -hmm. and these young women because our, our, we have six teams mm -hmm. at, in this school program, which is our premiership boys, our championship girls, mm -hmm. our U4, U16, U14, and our four months, five teams. Um, and our intent is to take these teams and continue a developmental program mm -hmm. that they can be the best they can be yeah. to improve football, not only in the school, not only in Faisabad, but in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. um, from what I've gathered so far, you today as well, you have a game as well today. Yes. Um, you've managed to, I, I think, was, was there any friendlies before this? Well, there was, there was a tournament we had yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Um, Which I wanted to bring up, of course. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we played... But you managed to get the Trinidad. The Trinidad on national the team on the, on the 17th on in the final. Yeah. And That's we, pretty impressive to get uh, so it quick was, into It was excellent. Season. And we played uh, Irene. Uh, we, 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 were playing, we played Irene uh, a week ago. Hmm. In, in Irene, which is a, a South Zone, the team that is on top of the mm -hmm. South Zone League. And this afternoon we're playing um, Paliseco yeah. team that is in the Petrochen Paliseco, which is in the Super League mm -hmm. um, and is doing very well. Yeah. So it, it, is, it, it is a challenge for the boys. Um, but I, and this is the thing, they have to be prepared mm -hmm. because you're talking about the likes of Naps, Benedicts, Nap, um, uh, pre uh, presentation, mm -hmm. Signal Hill is some of the first four teams, St. Augustine is, is the first five games of our season. Mm -hmm. We have to be ready from the get-go. Yeah. We're, not, we're not fooling ourselves. Mm -hmm. we, we are trying to stay in the league. These yeah. are the big boys and we're humbly trying to do our best every time we go on that field. Well, you know, just to really round it off, uh, for those of you who don't know Sports Max, uh, has taken an interest in right. the, uh, not an interest, they have acquired the rights to right. broadcast the Intercall, which is something, uh, well, I had a brief stint at Intercall, one game, but I mean, just saying that things have changed from back in the day until now. Yeah. Um, we had some off-air discussions with some of your staff and we were speaking about, you know, that sort of exposure is something I guess our generation didn't have. Right. The the current crop of players, this current generation of players, uh, is, is it, how is it affecting them though? Is it the transition from all of a sudden being not really seen to knowing that hey, you know, Sports Max is going to come and yeah, I think I think that is that is that is the challenge. Is it I, good or bad? I think it? the challenge is is, mm -hmm. is Sports Max actually having to do more mm -hmm. to raise the bar of understanding that Sports Max is here. Mm -hmm. They have moved around with the teams. They have they have apparently the, the intent is to to come into every school program and mm -hmm. interview the teams, but they have to do more mm -hmm. to raise the awareness of of Sports Max is here. Yeah. Um, and, and so that the school understands, mm -hmm. the Faisabad area, they don't just interview the schools, interview yeah. the community, let mm -hmm. the community know, hey, do you know Sportsman, which is televising all over the US, mm -hmm. Canada, the Caribbean, mm -hmm. is now part of the, the Intercal football program, which your school, Faisabad Secondary, is involved in? They need to know. So when we have home games and they know that Sportsmax is there, they want to be present as yeah. well to cheer on their team. Mm -hmm. And that will help lift what, we, what we're trying to, to get within the players of responsibility. Mm -hmm. Responsibility for the, the school, responsibility for the, the, the community mm -hmm. and, and themselves and their families. Yeah. So Sportsmax, I think, is a, it's a excellent thing, but I think they, they, more needs to be done instead of just me saying mm -hmm. it was good what they did today, yeah. but it's important that without just the coaches saying Sportsmax is here. Mm. Sportsmax, Sportsmax need to speak louder, mm -hmm. saying that, hey, mm. we are here. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Maybe and, some and dialogue needs to take absolutely, place the, absolutely. the local high absolutely. school coaches. Because at the end of the day, I mean, look what has happened to the Premiership mm -hmm. with an involvement of, of, of TV pundits. And mm -hmm. look at all the, all the leagues in the world where they've, they've been involved. Mm -hmm. Sportsmax is not involved in any, any pro league, and mm -hmm. pro league is our top leagues. It says a lot when you know? they went straight to high school. 
I think. It's, it's you know, so we, we there's some good things that the 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 the, 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 the management team of the, the, the SSFL is doing, but I think it needs to be out there. One of the one of the challenges is is people understanding their roles, they understanding what they need to do to get the message out to the communities, to the schools, because people need to know. Um, I mean, I'm in, I'm very impressed with your program and and the. the the, the opportunity, the hard work that you guys are doing to mm -hmm. get the message out to people. There's, there's you will not, not see anybody that's a tear coming out from this. <laughs> it's not sweat. <laughs> the, people need to understand yeah. that the, the yeah. media is so, if not vital, mm -hmm. for sport. Without, mm -hmm. without, without the media in sport, what is, what is sport to a point? You yeah. know, the, the, so, it needs and, to be packaged. And you guys are doing it well. You guys are being able to go mm. from... from, from Top to bottom, mm. side to side, trying to assist in any way possible. Um, the My Stop project is mm. is a fantastic project, mm. um, and I, and I think you know you need you guys need to be cool for it. And 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 I promise you before before the end of the season, the whole of Trinidad maybe will know about My Stop for Ooh, sure. That's for sure. Exclusive. That's for sure. <laughs> um, well, we, listen, we don't want to keep you back. You know, I understand you have your schedule and so yeah. on. You have a game soon. Um, so, listen, you all heard about the Anthony Roger project. We're definitely going to keep tabs on this because it's very exciting. Um, we are going to keep track of progress beginning to end. Hopefully, it's a very long journey. And good luck in your quest to take Faisabad to the elite. Thank you all very right, much, Roger, Andrew. So for more on this interview, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the link right here. Also, uh, follow me on Instagram and on my Twitter account, at Andres Soklal. And feel free to leave comments, suggestions, or questions. We'd love to answer. And if you have any questions for Roger, send it below. He'll answer. But make Absolutely. sure and like. Because this episode has been brought to you by my store. And when you like, you automatically qualify for possibly a free copy of FIFA 17. Wow. So, there you go. You have a reason to like now. So, like us.